what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have between two thin parallel metal plates having charges plus q and minus q is inserted a thick metal slab having a charge plus q okay this distance is 2d this distance is d adjacent surfaces of the plates and that of the slab are equal in area parallel to each other this is connected by a switch a this is connected by a switch b to the ground when A and B switches are closed simultaneously, find the amount of charges that passes through the switches. Okay, so let us draw the diagram quickly. So this is the metallic slab, and uh, this one is our upper plate carrying a charge plus Q, plus Q, and a similar kind of plate at a distance 2D minus Q okay so before turning on the switch let us draw the charge distribution as you can see the total charge is plus q and half of the total charge is uh, situated on the outer surfaces and uh, now we can balance the charges like if there is plus q by 2 here sorry there will be plus q by 2 here so minus q by 2 here and uh, 3q by 2 here and minus 3q by 2 here. okay so this will be our charge distribution before turning on the switch now after the switch is connected the charge distribution will change and the charges on the outermost surfaces of the outermost plates will be zero as they are grounded okay this one is A, this one is B. So here the charges will be zero, even potential will also be zero as they are connected to the ground. Uh, let us consider Q1 charges uh, situated on the upper side and Q2 charge on the lower side of the middle plate. This one will be minus Q1, this one will be minus Q2. Okay. Let the potential of this plate be V, let in this direction the electric field be E1. And here the electric field is E2. Okay, so as you can see, the potential difference between these two plates and between these two plates is same. So that is E1 times 2D, as this one is 2D and this one is D, will be equal to E2 times D. Fine. E1 is sigma divided by that is surface charge density divided by epsilon naught. So we can write Q1A epsilon naught times 2 equals q2 a epsilon naught times 1 okay so 2 q1 equals to q2 and sum of these two charges will be equal to q so q1 plus q2 is also equal to q now if we solve this two equation we will get that q1 is equal to q by 3 and uh, q2 will be 2 q by 3 okay so here the charge will be minus q by 3 plus q by 3 plus 2 q by 3 minus 2 q by 3 okay so this will be our final charge distribution and from here we can say how much charge have flown through the switch so here it was initially q sorry here it was initially q now on this plate there is minus 3q that means charge have flown in this direction and the amount of charge will be 2q by 3 so this amount of charge flown from the plate to the ground okay and here on the lower plate it was initially minus q now it is minus 2q by 3 that means charge have flown in this direction and the amount of charge is minus q minus 2 by 3 so that will be q by 3 i need the magnitude here okay so q by 3 amount of charge have flown via this switch into the plate okay so i hope all of you have found this video helpful and informative thank you